on behalf of the leadership group, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the 16th edition of the annual leadership conference and awards. Since the establishment of the leadership newspapers in 2004, the mantra of the group have always remained standing for good governance. To all our distinguished guests and our awardees, it is my singular honor and privilege to welcome you all to the 16th edition of the Leadership Newspaper Conference and Awards. This conference and awards, year after year, provides an exceptional platform in setting the agenda and offering solutions and new insights to a range of the country's problems. Today's event coincides with the 20th anniversary of the founding of leadership. I think that's a good place to clap. 20 years. I would also like to thank our keynote speaker, Professor Kingsley Mogalo. So I hope I pronounced your name right. <laughs> Former Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria and currently the Chairman of the African Private Sector Summit, who came all the way from Washington, D.C. to honor leadership. Thank you, sir. Let me go into my uh, keynote um, remarks this morning. And our subject is Nigeria's distressed economy. Which way forward? I want to begin by saying that every choice we make has consequences. But we have no choice over the combined consequences of the choices we have made. I want us to let that sink in for a minute. Nigeria's economy today is, to use the title of the classic novel but by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, that novel was called The Chronicle of a Death Foretold. The question is, will there be a resurrection? I believe so, but only if we fix the fundamentals. There is no better time than now in a time of crisis. It's time to stop the worship of the God of small things. Corruption, tribalism, cronyism, nepotism, mediocrity. This religion is why we are poor and our economy is comatose today. Let there be no doubt we can beat this crisis. We can. We can. We can. We can. I pray that this conference and especially after that brilliant keynote speech would light a fire within all of us to stop living by fate and to start living by decisions. For me, I always say this award is, I'm grateful to the Almighty God that I had this opportunity, and always opportunity whenever possible. I've said it just every day. I am not desperate to be president of Nigeria. I'm desperate to see Nigeria work. I'm desperate to see Nigeria fight poverty. And I listen to what the keynote speakers said today. And you could see it in my tweet yesterday. We have no reason being part of poverty in the world, especially in the north. There's so much we can do with this country. Let people stop wasting everybody's time and put these young people that are giving us problems in terms of criminality out of poverty and you did this criminality. I am supposed to make remark on behalf of all the recipients but before I go on let me first appreciate the leadership group on behalf of the governors here present for honoring us this you have done we can assure you is another push for more Nigeria needs to be productive you cannot be out of poverty unless you start to produce but I assure you in this room today Leadership group, the next award you will give me, if you will ever give me, is the largest producer of food in 2024. Let me express gratitude to the Leadership Group Limited, one of Nigeria's and Africa's most respected and influential media brands. For this honor being conferred on me today as the Leadership Person of the Year 2023. The award is also to acknowledge your courage in taking a number of difficult but necessary decisions in order to position the country towards economic prosperity. And so, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is a moment. The award ceremony will be kicking off now. Standing young person of the president of the year. 
at leadership we use the awards to give a spotlight to those we consider are deserving in their various categories we may not be where we would like to be but these men and women are making strides in the direction that we hope will lead us to a nation of peace stability and possibilities of prosperity for all who dare to seize it all the award winners today who will be collecting the award i say congratulations to you for scaling the rigorous scrutiny of the assessors distinguished ladies and gentlemen i would like